Oh, the leaves are brown. Oh, the leaves are brown. And the sky is grey. And the sky is grey. I've been for a walk. I've been for a walk. On a winter's day. On a winter's day. <laughs> G'day folks, I'm pretty sure that uh, when the Beach Boys wrote that song though, they had a day just like this in mind. Even though it wasn't the Beach Boys, I think it was the Mamas and the Papas. Anyway, I've got three, not one, not two, but three parcels to open up today. My mail time mailbox has just been bombarded with mail this week and it's awesome and it's going to be great fun. Anyway folks, as King Henry VIII said to each of his six wives, I promise I won't keep you long. Now, like all impatient kids, I've been having a bit of a shaky shake, squeezy squeeze, and I've come prepared, because I reckon I know what this one might be. This is the return address only, so I have absolutely no idea who this is from. But I reckon I know what it is. Feels a lot like a can holder or a stubby holder. Right over, got a letter. Two pirates. Two Pirates Stubby Holder. On the back it's got Two Pirates Fishing on Instagram, Two Pirates Fishing and Outdoors on YouTube and Facebook. Two Pirates. I don't think I've ever used something that I've got in my mail time so quickly. Here's a fact for you. You always see YouTubers talking about coffee. I hardly drink it. I'll drink Pepsi Max because it's full of sugar. It's probably not good for you, but it's not a big fan of hot drinks. I've got a couple of Two Pirates stickers. That's really cool. Now, a little letter. G'day, Robbie Adska here from Two Pirates Fishing and Outdoors in Western Australia. Love, love your channel, especially love the latest kayak crayfishing episode. That was so much fun. I had so much fun making that. It'd be awesome if you could check us out on YouTube, Two Pirates Fishing and Outdoors, Instagram, Two Pirates Fishing, Facebook, Two Pirates Fishing and Outdoors. Cheers, mate. P.S. Keep your cans cold. Absol well, on a day like today, it'd probably be colder outside of the can holder. I love this. Two Pirates. I'm going to use this all the time. That's one thing I can promise. When people send me lures, I often say, I may or may not get a bit of air time. This is going to get a lot of use. <laughs> all right. I reckon this is a lure. This is from Andy Parker. I know, Andy Parker, what have we got? I'm like a kid, like I have like 50 Christmases a year. Andy Parker, Andy was actually, they sung about him when they sang Waltzing Matilda. Andy sang, Andy waltzed, Andy waited till he, his billy boiled. Sorry Andy. Wow, check that out. That's a really cool. I've never seen something like that before. That's what it is. I don't know what it is. I've never seen a little like that before. That's really bizarre. It's a... Is there a ladder? And he sang and he waltz and he didn't write a letter to me. Right, oh, this is... From Andy at hmlewis.ecwid.com. hmlewis.ecwid.com. I've never even heard of a domain like that before. But anyway, I'm going to look them up. HM Lewis. I'm just going to double and triple check that there's not a letter in there just in case I've not read it out. Okay, I'll make one up. I'll, I'll read a letter that's, that's. I'll pretend that I'm going to make up a letter. Hi Robbie, thank you for the videos that you make. They make me laugh, especially when you fall on your bum in your yabbying videos. We've sent you this white weird looking lure with the eyes on the sides. It looks like it's the Picasso's weeping woman of fishing lures. I hope you like it. Well, I went to a lot of trouble making it and I, uh, I hope you can give it a swim one day. Thank you very much Andy. Have a look. The eyes, for those that don't know, if you look up the weeping woman painting by Picasso, the, she's standing side on but both eyes are on one side of her face. <laughs> look at that. If he stands side on you can see both eyes but the hooks are down here. 
I'm not sure how that works, is it? Like a surface? I, I'm guessing it's going to roll through. I've never seen anything like that before. I'll see if I can get a little bit closer up and show you. You can see this. It's, camera just wants to focus on my face. Because it's so handsome. Right, now there's the lures hanging underneath. But the eyes are sideways. The eyes are on the top and the bottom. So I'm not really sure. Sorry about the focusing issues. If I can get out of frame, it might work. <laughs> I can't get out of frame. But anyway, HM lures. That's really cool. I'll look you guys up because there's not a lot for me to go on. But I'll look up the... I'll go to hmlures.ecwid.com and I'll see what I can find. HM lures. Thank you very much, Andy. That's really cool. Now for the third one. On Point Adventures in Western Australia. It's only getting a lot of mail from Western Australia lately. This one's going to need a bit of assistance to get into. I'm just going to go grab me keys. I'll be right back. Did you miss me? Right. The trusty old car key. One of these days I'm going to go to Western Australia. Not at the moment. I'm from Victoria and you don't want me over there. Because we had 33 new cases of COVID-19 this morning. We've had so many cases here in Victoria. They're not in my area. They're all down around Melbourne, thankfully. Not thankfully, but thankfully for me, but not other people. But folks, seriously, be safe. Take it easy. I know the rules have relaxed, but still, you know, the amount of people that I've shaken hands with lately, I'm not doing it now. I've decided I'm just going to do the elbow bump because complacency is a big issue and we really don't want this bug spreading. So everyone, please take it easy. Oh my God! Lead lenser. I've got a story to tell you about lead lenser in a minute. G'day Robbie, Scott here from On Point Adventures. We love the channel. It's great to see a family man like ourselves giving good honest reviews. Hang on. It's just getting a bit fuzzy. It's great to see a family man like ourselves giving good honest reviews on outdoor equipment to help others make educated decisions as well as, of course, as the freshwater fishing you do. Your vids have definitely inspired us to, to share some of our adventures. Our YouTube page here in Western Australia is on point adventures would love to know what you think we have sent you a small item which we've found so valuable in our time spent outdoors we have found the lead lenser p7 to be an awesome standout torch and hope the engraving adds that personalized touch to it for you we hope you will find a lot of use for this torch whilst chasing yabbies and all other nighttime shenanigans all the best mate scott at on point adventures on point adventures Let's check out On Point Adventures on YouTube. I'm going to put a link to their video, to their channel at the end of this video. So in the end screens. Look at this. I am just stoked. It's been engraved. Look. To Robbie. It's been engraved with To Robbie. And on the top here, it's got On Point, it's got on point Adventures engraved around it. That is so cool. And it's charged. Look, on, bright, second bright, then off. That is amazing. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about these. Look at that. Isn't it funny how everything goes dark when I point that straight into the camera? Then when I back the light off, the, the screen lines up again. Quick story for you about um, a lead lenser. I had a lead lenser, and I absolutely loved it. And I think it might have even been the same model, I think. From memory, it might have been the P7. I bought it, and I loved it. And I lost it. I probably only had it a month or so. And for the last four or five years, I've not known where it is. I just have not seen it ever. And I often see the pouch in the cupboard. Because I haven't thrown the pouch out in case one day I find the torch again. And I've been reluctant to go and buy another one. Because I know I'll, uh, what if I find that one? But now, I've got one with my name on it. Lead Lenser P7. How cool is that? I better make a nighttime video for you all now so that you can see me use my torch. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, On Point Adventures. Thank you so much to On Point Adventures in Western Australia. Three mail time, one from Queensland and two from Western Australia. How good is that? The internet brings people closer together and one day when I'm in a better financial position, I'm gonna go for a big tour. I'm gonna to go and meet heaps of people everywhere. I'd love to get over to Western Australia. First of all, we've got to get this COVID bug over with. I've got to get back to work, which uh, for those of you that know I finished my job in May, I have started a new job. I've had my induction, I'm on the books. I'm now effectively stood down because of COVID. So I have got work to go to. So once everything's back to 
normal and I can save some money. I want to go to Western Australia. I want to go to Queensland. I want to go back to Tasmania. And when I do, I might do some in-store in -store appearances so that people can have the opportunity to come and say g'day. Because I need to meet some of you amazing people that send me this stuff. Righto, thanks. I don't even think that King Henry kept his wives for that long. Thank you very, very much for the mail time. This has just been fantastic. It's made my day. I'm going to cook some noodles with my wife now. If you've liked this video, why not hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. How good's that? Remember I had one of these and I lost it?